what they did not do. Somebody is doing it, even though they pretend they cannot see it. And there's something anybody can do about it. I'm talking about those who will not see. They will not see the improvement in the power sector. They will not see it since Patrola took over. They will not see it. They invested six billions of dollars between 1999 and 2016. Excuse me, they, is, that, they, is there an improvement? Yes, there is. Yes, yes. Is, it not, okay. is it not in your area? Okay, okay my place, 22, 23 hours. In the village, where we, we we I come from, there is a significant improvement. I I'm hear about there's more power in mm. those places mm. than in Lagos. No, they will distribute it. But one thing I want to leave with you is that there has been a humongous improvement in the power generation. Okay. If it's a transmission problem, then, then they can always deal with it. But as I speak to you now, we have 7,000 megawatts, 7,000 plus. Mm. As I speak to you now, like I said before, the internal revenue is moving beyond, they are going beyond what we used to get in oil. So, what is, our, do you have an idea of the figure now? If you put 4.4 trillion from F FIRS to 1 point something trillion from customs, I'm not talking about NEMASA, I'm not talking about NPA, I'm not talking about, about JAMB and other agencies of government, because by the time you put all these things together, you will see that we are, we are moving beyond. No, but the FIRS has several times given quote, um, declared they are revenue as much as five trillion, six trillion, and then sometimes in the last no, 2015 no, no, by, by the time you aggregate trillion. what you have recorded in the oil sector, mm. then you will see. Those who decimated our foreign reserve to about 24 will not be happy that it's now 40 plus in a recession. They won't be happy. They won't be happy. Mm. Okay, so you, you think they're the ones that are in this movement and are trying to you need Raised to be us. very careful about this movement. Corruption is fighting back. Okay. Corruption is fighting back. You don't, we, it's, we don't, when we, I wrote Heroes of Democracy in 1999, and one of the chapters I said, it's not going to be over until it is over. Mm. The, you know, this is the first time the progressives are in power in this country. This is the first time. We voted for Abiola in, in 1993. Those who, who, People that are moving around now were those who were those who killed him, killed his wife, and seized that mandate. We started okay. all, over, all over again. Mm. Now, two years, two two and a half years into the into this dispensation, progressive dispensation, they are coming up again. They will but we okay. have to build this country. I pity them. I said there will be there will be massive movements you won't see, but it won't translate to votes. Okay, it is a brand new car. Without a driver, Mr. Car. There, are, there are no even tires. They can okay. find a no driver. When you have a good car, you can always get a good okay. driver. No, you can't. That is by the way. That is by the way. I just, I just gave you an example. Hey, this a brand new car without a driver. Yes. No Nanuji. drive anywhere yeah. to drive the brand new car. Yeah. Yeah. Dr. Nanuji, um, so yes. <laughs> what is your take? Are we likely to see a massive change? in 2019 because of this brand new car, which Mr. Ibukwese has no driver? Uh, first, I would like to thank Mr. Ibukwese for praising the PDP's work. It is the PDP that privatized the power sector. And uh, as uh, Minister Fashola confessed a fortnight ago, uh, his ministry did not spend 10 naira in capital expenditure in the power sector. So what you're seeing are the improvements brought about as a consequence of our committing to the largest ever asset sale by any government on earth when we unbundled the power sector. And that's what I'm saying. So we did that privatization. Since the APC has been in power, no single privatization. They are not committed to privatization. They don't believe in the uh, uh, private market. We believe that the private sector should drive the economy. And this is where we differ. You see, we created all this. We built this economy. It's okay for him to stay there and insult Nigeria. Don't forget, everybody you see today who is in uh, APC, most of them, up to 80%, actually came over from PDP. Everybody you see today that is in the APC have been in power 
for the past 18 years in one area of the other. And I will tell you, I am happy for us coming right now to the very first period, to the end of the first period. I do believe, going forward, that Nigeria will do better. Okay. Now that we've stood up to say no, we will not accept the clannishness of the present government. Okay. We won't accept the nepotism as policy of the present government. Mm -hmm. I believe that we will come back to power to okay. continue what All we've right. always done. Nadi, you're the icing on the cake. Well, um, I think it will not be right for the ruling party to ignore what is happening in the polity. And uh, even if they recognize that and they are working behind the scene, they must give some measure of um, credence to the query money outside there that things are not working the way they should, both in the security, economy, and so on. Because if we are talking about getting so much revenue, why are we borrowing? And so on. And so on. There are a lot of things that could be talked about, but the government can make mistakes. But as a, a government, being an organic body, it can always correct its mistakes mm. based on what, what people are saying from outside. Then the opposition should try to position themselves to download whatever benefits that will come from the query money rather than uh, joining issues with the, um, uh, the, the party in power because mm. they also made their own mistakes when they had the opportunity. Right. Thank you. And man. just to quickly talk, uh, the, the, the PDP government also missed it when it sacked Professor Bartin Naji. He's not my brother. But even Fashola's governor was on television advising Lagos uh, residents to change their TV and everything and fridge because Tokumbo will not stand constant power supply. For two, three months, we were having good supply. And that was when electricity workers were on strike. Right. So they should find out what was the formula. In this country, we dispense with the people who have made contributions because perhaps they are not agreeing with our political visions. All so right. we are interested in the welfare of Nigerians. And if we can get it from a goat, please, let's go there. <laughs> Well, well, but, in, in, in position. <laughs> Thank you very much. We've been speaking with Chima Naji, a legal practitioner and public affairs analyst. Mr. Joe Ibokwe, a chieftain of the All Progressives Congress. And Ka Dr. Kat Onanuju, who joined us from our Abuja studios. Thank you, gentlemen, PDP, for sharing your thoughts. He's a PDP man. Oh, he's so a PDP. Yeah, so Dr. Kat Onanuju is a PDP <laughs> chieftain. So and that they balance <laughs> themselves. Thank you so much. So much. We'll be back in a moment. Please don't go away.